See the letter from Lord Harrington? I so admire all these paupers. They seem to me such a breath of fresh air. Communicating with them is such a pleasure. And that they are so smart, not like us. Perhaps it is so who should have been lords. We still put commoners. November 7th. This means that the meeting is planned for today. Dear Lord, on November 7th, our meeting starts at Grunston's Oak. I have attached a map to this letter so you may find a place easily. Okay, I think I'm... I gotta search archives. Okay, do we get anything else in here? Hmm. I'd suggest that your current weakness is perhaps more than a simple case of influenza, Lord Marley. <coughs> Where might your companion be, Dr. Watson? Oh, he's busy poking his nose into other people's business, I'm sure. <clears throat> what the fuck was that? My lord, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I must remind you about your meeting. Is it already time? My apologies, Dr. Watson, but we are expected elsewhere. Might we offer you a lift? You're going out. I'm Let's not sure see. that's wise in your condition. I value your opinion, but misery never rests, and I am needed. Well, do please take good care of yourself, Lord Marsh. I'll send you my diagnosis, Dr. Fisher. Thank you, Dr. Watson. Farewell. Practical Motherhood and Parent Craft. Okay, what a, what a book. What a book, Mr. Watson. What a book. Okay, invitation. Nothing has to do with that shit. Here we go. Hunters, Lord Marsh and his friends are skilled for experienced hunters, yeah? Alright. You got that. What do we got? Okay, we gotta analyze the blood and we gotta figure out book. Hey, Mr. Watson. Watson, what are you doing at my table? I just need to check one thing about Lord Marsh. About his blood. Coughing up blood. My intuition tells me that Lord Marsh is hiding something about his disease. His cough, in addition to his fever and his usage of strong painkillers, leads me to believe that he is seriously ill. Let's study it more closely. Speaking with tiny drops of blood. Hmm. I could take a sample and examine it under the microscope. Let us apply chemicals to color the sample. I need a pit. This chemical should be applied third. This chemical should be applied second. Let's examine the colored sample under the microscope. Mycobacterium. It appears that Lord Marsh is seriously ill. That's not good. Holmes, this is no longer a laughing matter. It is just as I feared Lord Marsh is suffering from tuberculosis. You don't say. Yes, I do say. 
and Holmes. He will die if he is not transferred to a sanatorium as soon as possible. And yet both Lord Marsh and Dr. Fisher are doing their best to hide this fact. How interesting. But why? Why indeed, Watson. Oh, but... Oh, dear God. You don't think that Lord Marsh contracted tuberculosis while aiding the poor? How terrible. I have a commitment that I can't possibly cancel. Holmes, during my absence, please be extremely careful. This disease is highly contagious. And remember that we have women at home. That means put the toilet seat down. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Alice. Until later. I'll see you soon, Caitlin. Where have you been? Our neighbor lent me a book. She is so kind. I think she likes you. <laughs> I doubt that. How is your investigation going? It's going. Dracula? Yes, it's forbidden reading at my boarding school. Did you know? Well, well. It is thrilling. Oh, I can't wait to tell all my friends about this. Okay, we're gonna check the archives. Guess encyclopedia. I guess architecture, maybe. It's not the one. What do I need for Gunkin's Oak? A newspaper, maybe? No. Oak, oak tree. There we go. Gunston's oak is a strange and mysterious tree that grows in Epping Forest. The origin of his name is unconfirmed, although there are many legends and fables connected with it. Some people say that over centuries, witches performed their ceremonies near this tree, and these rites have assured that whoever may touch the trunk of Gunston's oak. Oak and so the guns and so will cur be cursed for all time. Here it is. Okay. Damn. Constance Oak is in Epping Forest. That's the place indicated on George Hurst's map. Okay. So do I, I got, I guess I gotta go to the Urk cellar. Oh, there's a map here. Let's try to find the place from the.
Look at this. Here it is. Drat. I'll need to hurry if I want to find out what's going on at the forest. Father, that boy Wiggins, does he come here very often? He helps occasionally in some of my cases. Why do you ask? I'd like to talk to him. Talk to him? Father, back at school there are only girls to talk to, and they are so boring. I'm sure Wiggins has lots of exciting stories to tell about his life in London. It would be so romantic. Okay, oh, I know what you're like. You'll terrify him. He won't dare to come back here again. Is that what you think? <laughs> I love it. Oh, Kate. I'll leave you alone now. All right, time to go to Epping Forest to continue on my deduction board. Oh, fuck it. Let's, let me just... I've been hit. I oh, know. Let's see how long you can stay alive. Okay, it shows a line when I'm about to get hit. Oh, fuck! I got shot. Oh, bear trap! Bear trap! Bear trap? What the hell? I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Go through the thorny bushes! What? I couldn't go through the thorny bushes? He was gonna like shoot me through the bear. Oh shit! Woo! No, I was in cover. Fuck off! 